Uh, I think the pig's good for this one. So all the players are readied up. And as soon as the new lobby starts, they'll take their sides of the pitch. We'll get this best of five underway. Northeastern looking for their very first match win on the season. They've gotten close a couple of times, but the road has not been smooth, as they say. Florida Poly, Dezu, Bob Stowe, and Rex going to try to keep Northeastern winless. And here we go. Uh, I'll keep my eyes on Synthex here and see if he can start to find that. Uh, that the ranked form that Daz was talking about on the desk, if he can establish some sort of dominance for Northeastern. But off this first kickoff, it's going to be flommed behind the ball. Actually, kick back again. Synthex picks up the save on the back side, and it's already flipped back to Florida Poly, putting some shots on net. This game they've had, they've had quite a few game five losses, which are always tough to 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 take. But at the same time, ooh, Rex. Getting that first goal, so Florida Poly out to a quick start. And Northeastern, the woes continue. And Rex actually gets this goal. Flops was avoiding a demo. He had no boost. And, I mean, that's about as good as you can approach the ball. I think the only thing Flops might have been able to do better there was to jump just a tad later. Trying to find value with bumps and demos. And even on the carry, he's always trying to carry the ball out, trying to out mind game you on the 50. Here's a shot from Desu, and that will be two goals for Florida Poly catching Northeastern out on defense. And the boost game was dire. Floms had barely enough to even get close, but it proved to not be enough to make the play. And that was a delightful little pass. Popping it up, baits out the defender, beats the others, and Florida Poly, despite having to, to stay on their own side quite a bit and field some of the attacks. Ooh! And just as I said at Northeastern, get on the board. Yeah, that's a pretty nice passing play as well to pull within one for Northeastern. I, I like seeing more of this. The, the passing lanes have been closed for the most part on offense for Northeastern. They just haven't had the chance to set up for the positioning. You know, you can only count on one, maybe two teams out of each conference to really threaten you with infield passing plays. But now you see this and great redirects. Bob Stowe picks up one there. Florida Poly, two goal lead. Oh, we saw him making reads on defense. Now this one on offense gets up, twirls around, and gets a perfect hit on that ball. Well done by Bob Stowe. It's the boost that they don't have when they finally get back to the orange half of the field. Maybe they get a chance with time left. They actually will score here. Synthex will pick up the missed rebound. There's some time left. Yeah, Bob Stowe, he was just coming off on the respawn. Didn't really have much boost to work with Synthex. He was able to poke it right by Bob Stowe. I think tried to, to act a little too quickly. Perhaps had more time than he realized on that play. This is their last chance, and now playing merry-go-round around their corner. Can't grab the ball in midfield. Bob Stowe, the hero for Florida Poly in game number one, might just give them the lead in the match, and it will. Florida Poly for Florida Poly. This might be Northeastern's next chance, but that corner's been killing them. They have had no success in that right corner. They've had to win a 50 oh, like that. Bob and what a Stowe. save Bob Stowe is popping off today. <laughs> you know, he, he, I think he had a misread before that, but to make up for it, he gets that, and now they score Florida Poly again having to hold off this Northeastern attack, and they find a way to punish as the overcommit comes through for Northeastern. Oh, that's oh. got to be devastating. The game of Rocket. You know, your surroundings are extremely important. Awareness is everything. Look at this pass to Dezu. Oh. Nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, he's using the side view mirrors, rear view mirrors, backup <laughs> camera, the vision from Bob Stowe to get it over to Dezu. And that shot, oh. Too yeah, hard. That was the ball's good. made of lead. That was good. ball's made of lead. <laughs> Go for it. It's that, that finish that is missing, and we'll see if they can bring it back here now. And this is a good chance, a great pass. Whoa. Synthex will finish it off. Jay Frazier did so much work in the corners, and it was rewarded. Yeah, great. He, he just punched the ball off the orange car, and after that, it's just about following it up quickly, send it across the box. Wasn't too uh, hard mechanically for Jay Frazier. It was just all about how that bounce was coming off the corner. By the way, Jay Frazier, one last chance, and Bob Stowe knocks it right in the gut. Dezu sets oh. it up because why not? Florida Poly won away from a sweep. He still haven't registered, registered a shot for either team. It has been so such what? a battle at the midfield. Oh, oh. a shot. Oh. This one, there you go. I think this was 
a pinch here between the defender. So we see Dezu trying to get the pass to Rex, and then, yep, skip right yeah. off of Rex's head and in. So we waited all that time, and a bit of an unorthodox goal. Base, and that's a long pass for it to connect pretty cleanly. Florida Poly back on it. There Bob Stowe's go. there. Bob Stowe is in. And Florida Poly tie it up. And Florida Poly's had a couple of good passing plays. This was another one. Dezu off the backboard. Bob Stowe waiting in the middle. And even before that, we saw, it. I believe it was Bob Stowe who fed that over to Dezu. So Florida Poly getting their passing plays back in order. And we've seen this from them all series long. They may not get the most chances, but... You know, it's it's a lot of times quality over quantity. And, and Florida Poly has made some quality attacks, and they're looking like the better team so far. Yeah, Desu and, uh oh, Jay Frazier actually sneaks this in between two defenders. I thought this one would be saved, but he snuck it in. Now Rex jumping a bit too high, but I think it actually hit off the bottom of his car. You saw the orange trail, yeah, Northeastern. Oh, Rex, no! Again! No Northeastern, <laughs> Northeastern doesn't have a shot. Oh my god. They have gosh. two goals on zero shots. I, I, Wait. I, I don't remember the last time I've seen this. How many goals have been scored with zero shots on net? Okay, there's their first. There's first one. shot on net, and, and they are 200%. Bombs, and it's 200%. Who doesn't have a goal. <laughs> Off the corner, trying to dive for it oh. again was Bob Stowe. Wait, Rex got bumped. Can't get the shot. Fra Jay Frazier just wants to kill the ball and it bounces down. Northeastern, don't get swept. And now chat gets to see this beautiful scoreboard. I think it finished with both players from Northeastern who have goals <laughs> scoring without a shot. So that uh, that from Northeastern was good possession. They uh, and even that last one, it, I still think even though they didn't get credit for the shot, it was still a good shot. It skipped underneath the car, and that's what you want to do when you got somebody challenging high. Put it low, so it worked out. And Northeastern limp away with a win, but they keep hopes alive. For a prolonged period of time, it was midfield challenge after midfield challenge, and Ooh. already an early goal three seconds in. Dezu blasted that one off the crossbar, and that was a great shot. Really was perfect timing on the flip. I mean, that's, that's what you practice in training, to hit that shot every time. Nice little jump there from Jay uh -oh. Frazier as well. That double commit Dumping. might give them the lead. There it is, and the goal ties it up. Flops with the long call. You see the double commit, Bob Stone, Dezu. It wasn't the greatest hit, and it looked like Flom's Full shot. maybe even got grazed yeah. on that. He, might, I don't know. It was on the replay. It looked like it, it barely he got touched, and maybe he did get pull shot into that. It did like jutted forward a bit after the graze because I saw the same thing you did. But, ooh, flip reset. Oh, Dezu, James, you caught him out for his offensive prowess earlier. Here he's showing off. And that was such a nice touch. You see him hitting the brakes as no he's flippers. going up the wall. I love it. And, and, and that's, that is one thing that I do want to point out that is really difficult is knowing uh, when to use that break to get the perfect first touch. The first touch so important in setting up any shot. And Dezu slamming on the brakes there, got a lovely touch to set up that ceiling shot. Trouble. Corner, Dezu kills it completely, and Rex wasn't ready for it. He's got to stay back. They're all low. All low right now. The only person with any bit of boost was Floms, but he's using it up on the backboard. Nothing in the tanks, and Bob Stowe will finally be able to break through. Florida Poly, they drain Northeastern and eventually strike. Just Floms was the guy back initially on defense. He had... 20 boosts left in the tank on it and he's basically sitting back he knows that that carry is coming towards him but he keeps creeping forward and as soon as Flams realized he's crept too far forward he immediately turns around and tries to get on the back wall but the second he turns around that's exactly when he's lost northeastern trying to pull within one again and the shot is denied this is out he's got no boost to chase it they gotta wait for dezu dezu puts it up high awkward that'll do it florida poly take down northeastern in four Northeastern still hunting for a match win. Northeastern, I thought they had a good start. I, they they had some good moments early on where they were making defenders miss. But uh, the synergy was just not there today for Northeastern. Florida Poly, on the other hand, we saw them make quite a few uh, lovely team passing plays. Dezu in the air was very good. Uh, lovely first touches, lovely finesse from him. Bob Stowe on the defensive end making plays. Even on the offensive end, we saw him popping off earlier in the series. Dezu, I thought, finished strong. Rex rounded things out with just a solid performance. 
But Florida Poly, uh, they got the win commandingly here.